Hey, it's Eric. So today, coming back at you with another build guide. Now, I will admit, my last advanced Darius build guide, okay, it was kind of troll. It only worked against like squishy AP matchups, but this build, this build, I'm revolutionizing Darius, okay? So right now, you fucking idiots are going Triforce, Sterix Gage, Darius with Ghosts and Celerity, right? What is the reason for that? It doesn't make any sense. I mean, okay, so you have the Sheen, the attack speed, 20% cooldown reduction, you still have Phage, okay? I understand that. That's great. But Therix Gauge, it's just like, okay, so you build another item because you want more damage to, like, close the gap. So you have, like, one-shot ability but still, like, survivability with Therix Gauge passive being proc. Now, my take on this build was um, Black Cleaver, Frozen Mallet. Because I just fucking love Frozen Mallet. Why would you not build Frozen Mallet? Frozen Mallet is the better Sterix Gauge. It it removes the need of Ghost. Because if you attack someone, they're slowed. Every single time you attack someone, they're slowed for, what is it, 30%? Let me check. But, um, I'm, I will show gameplay for this build. Um, it's just that I wanted to show it off. So basically, your um, build path is that you rush frozen mallet first yeah 40 percent melee slow 40 percent every single auto so you just rush frozen mallet okay then you want to go spirit visage if you deal with a lot of ap champions so three or more or you want to go righteous glory both of these items are essential to this build because the point of this build is to take the trash meta build that everyone says is so good and throw it out the window because this is what you should be building on Darius. You don't need Sterix Gauge, Ghost, Black Cleaver, Triforce, whatever the fuck, okay? Black Cleaver is good if you're facing like tanky people and Triforce is good if you're facing squishies. But other than that, like Triforce, Sterix Gauge is not the go-to items every game. I don't get it. Because it's really just like, people are like, oh, well, I'm behind on Darius, and I hit level 11, and because I have these two items, I power spike. It's like, no, you power spike because you're level 11 Darius, okay? Get over yourself. Anyways, um, I went Omen because they had a um, Jinx, and plus I like the Omen slow. Um, but really, like, the main purpose of this build is to take everything that's viable about um, the current Darius meta and throw it out the window. Like, you don't... Everything in this build, in my opinion, fills the gaps of what you want. It's just you don't have damage and you don't die. I call this build the Never Die Darius because you do not die. Okay? So now you've seen the build. I'll show you the runes I had this game. This is all you need. This is all you need. Bonus healing. Look at that bonus healing just for my Q. Okay? Revitalize on Darius is broken. Okay? That heal saves you. Now, I'm not gonna lie, the 12% heal is beefy enough, but like getting that extra like 100 to 200, like every Q when I'm low, because the good thing about Revitalize is if you're low, you get 10% increased healing, 10% off of a secondary rune. That's insane in my opinion, right? And all you really need, like, you don't need Black Cleaver or Triforce because you have true damage from Conqueror, right? And I personally, I like to go Alacrity because I like my attack speed, but um, the Tenacity Rune actually works a lot better for this build. It's just I personally, I can't get I can't uh, get off of attack speed Darius. Like, I always go the, um, the attack speed rune for my first uh, rune, and then I go, um, what is it called? Um, the Adaptive Force and then uh, Armor. But yeah, this, this is exactly, like, what I built. And I've gone, like, I've tried it two games. I digress. Um, that's basically the build, and then uh, I'll show you some gameplay. Alright, so we're gonna be loading in here, and uh, yes, I know Poppy isn't the hardest matchup for Darius, but usually, right, after Poppy gets her second item, you want Black Cleaver so you can actually keep killing her. But with this build, I just kind of feel the need to, like, not build any damage. Because I looked at my team comp this game, and I was like, okay, we got Lux, Ezreal, and Syndra. Why would I build any damage this game? You know, like, Frozen Mallet is nice because it's just um, CC every auto, and I really like that. You know, like, you don't need anything else, in my personal opinion. So, you know, it's just usual, like, Darius stuff, honestly. You know, um, first blood here. 
you know, sorry to spoil it, but we get a first blood here. That's about that. Um, and you can see, like, okay, one thing I also want to point out is that in favorable matchups, you have no reason to go D shield, corrupting pot, or anything. Just go a long sword and three pots are refillable. Refillable if it's a good matchup, but three pots if you're going to struggle and you need more sustain. Because um, the difference between refillable and um, just buying regular potions. So three potions for 150, right? That gives 150 per pot. That's 450 total healing. While with refillable, it's only 125, which is 300 total healing. But every time you go to base, it refills your two pots. And I like that. And I don't really need a lot of sustain against Poppy. She doesn't do a lot of damage. I'm Darius. But I'm just going to go into um, where this type of stuff really comes into play. All right, we're back. Um, for some reason, the game just fucking crashed for, like, no reason at all. Um, where was that play? It's like, right here, yeah. Okay, so I land my W on Nautilus, though, and he runs away because I realized that Jinx... Like, he was running this way so Jinx could get the tower. So I go back to the tower. Play the wave. Jinx pokes me a little bit more. I'm not really caring about it too much. At this point in the game, I already have um, my Frozen Mallet, my Spirit Passage. Spirit Passage, because Spirit Passage is a vital item because I know you see that unique passive right there. Increases all healing by 30%. Wait for me to okay, cool. At this point in the game, I already healed 412 bonus healing at 17, 18 minutes pretty all right for a rune it's really just in those do or die situations like if you're a 1v9 darius like i am uh this rune is very useful land my q okay knock comes in slow down a little bit more i want to see the heal and this is at level 12 okay auto w back up to the q oh no i'm just Oh, yeah. 582 on one person. 582 heal on one person with Spirit Passage and Revitalize. Tell me that is not insane. 582. If I didn't have those two things, it probably would have been like 200, 300. That's actually insane. So, you know, there's not, there's not much else to be said here. They're inting, so I just get an easy dub. But, so I'm going on Poppy. She's running. She's fast. Okay, now I'm not scared of Elise Gank because at this point... Oh, I just got my Crystalline Bracer, so I guess I was uh, doing nothing for a while. But, get five stacks off on both of them. Ult her. 693Q with five stacks. Two levels up. You don't need these items. Okay, well, that's all I really needed to show, but you don't need Sterix Gauge Triforce to be successful on Darius. That's all you need. Your passive gives you AD. Just build survivability, right? All right, hear me out. And then you get five stacks, and then you press Q and land it, and you don't die. And then you execute with your true damage execute. It's been but I think this should be what everyone builds on Darius. This is how Darius should be. Well, honestly, I hope people build this so Darius gets nerfed because he doesn't need a what what is it 12 percent heal 15 percent however much yeah, i think it's 15 he doesn't he doesn't need a 15 percent heal honestly but this is just like maxing that out because um people talk about how he got his heal buff and i don't think it's like that big of a deal but when you add on these factors and go full tank i think it's a pretty big deal but this is my um never die darius build i forgot for a second um blah 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 like i'm subscribed blah 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 okay bye